Hi friends, we are reading an Excel file here. You can see here D student XLS. This sample student Excel file is available. You can download it and the data inside this Excel file, we are populating it in this Kinter window. You can see this Kinter window. This is a tree view. In this tree view, dynamically we are populating whatever the records we are collecting from our student Excel file. We are transferring, transferring the data in the row wise to our Kinter window. We'll learn all about this. We'll start from here. Uh, we are importing OpenPy Excel and that we are using. This particular library you can install. Uh, we have already discussed in the two videos about how to read, write and all. And if you are not installed it, installed by pip install uh, OpenPy Excel or you can even upgrade it. The commands are here. So now we are, after that we are loading the workbook D student Excel is this Excel file. You can download the sample file. It is there. The link is there in the descriptions. And in that we are opening the worksheet. The first worksheet is the student name we have given that worksheet as student. In your case, if it is different, you can use a different worksheet. So this is the worksheet object in this will uh, work on it. First part will read the data and try to print it without going to Kinter part. Once our data is ready, data means in two parts. One is the header cell and next is the raw data or the from the second row onward. So for that we'll start by reading the data. So let's just uh, iterate through and get the headers first. So L1. Because in our earlier tutorials, we have used L1 as our header file. So it's the column headers. So that's why the same name we are maintaining ws.itr rows. So these are the rows we'll see. We'll start from where minimum row will giving. Minimum row is one because start from the first row. Then max row is one. That means it will only take the one first row. And then let's say max column. Actually, there are max uh, call equal to 5 because we have this in the sample we have uh, uh, id name class mark and gender so five columns are there so we are going for five now values only it's we are setting it true so we, we want values only now this list will have that object it will pick up all the data from there now similarly let me just copy this line Control C. I am just pasting the same thing and now I will change this. Now I will get the data. Data is I am giving a name or record set because earlier we have used this for our uh, taking data from database and populating our tree view and all. So the names we are maintaining the same. So but you can give any other name. Now here the minimum row means now because the first row is the header. So we have left it now minimum row. We are taking it from our two. Then maximum rows, let's go up to five means two, three, four, five. So these are the records we'll take it. You want more, go ahead, uh, in increase the value. Now rest of the things are same. Now you can see we have two figures. One is L1, one is record set. This is the header, this is the data. So these two, let's just create a list out of it and print the data. That will ensure that we are getting the correct data from the Excel file. In the next part, we'll go for the Kinter. So for that, we'll say L1 again. We are recreating the same one. Now we are creating a, a list R for R in uh, L1. Now this is the list we are getting. I'm just telling header list. So all the column headers will be there. Now similarly, R set equal to uh, we'll create again a list R for R in record set. So this will loop through and create the list. Now what we will do we, after closing also, we can do it. Let's close the worksheet here, WB close. Now let's just print the L1 and see how it looks. Print L1. Now let me just save it. What's the output here? The output will be, I'm just running this. If I'm getting, yeah, you see this, this is the list, but the first element is there. First element is all the headers. So whenever we are using, we'll use it like this. So because in this way, what you will get is the list. Sorry, here it is. It's a tuple we are getting. So this we can, this tuple we can loop through and create our headers. Now let's try and see how our R set is or records we are getting. Slightly I will increase the size because for, we are expecting around four here. So print r set this is the variable name i have given you can give anything i'm just saving this and uh, print 
R set R for R what happened let me save this once or I will just clear save this running ok here it is so you can see here for the first line is my list again and the second line this this is again my all the data whatever you are getting one see it started from id 1 and 2 id is 3 here id 4 so because we are getting up to the maximum column we have set it as 5 so it starts from 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 so th that is why it is giving me 1 2 3 4 because second row is 1 so that is the now this data will transfer to our tree view to this we'll add our inter code so remove this print commands now I will just paste the Kinter window codes. Uh, let me reduce this display also. Okay. From here, we are opening our Kinter window. This is TTK importing because our tree view is a part of TTK. Then in Kinter, then this is our parent window. Then the geometry 560 by 2 width and height. You want to change it also, some title. Now we have missed the, to keep the window open, we have to my underscore w this is our uh, main loop because we have to keep the window open now inside this we'll start our writing our code so first let's uh, create the tree view let's move up a bit from here okay trv or tree view whatever we are giving now trv equal to ttk dot tree view now what's my parent window my underscore w we have just discussed it however we have declared it already now this tree view select mode select mode equal to browse so because we are not we just want to browse it now let's place it in our grid trv dot grid this is the first element or the only element so we'll give row equal to zero and column equal to zero you if you have other elements you can change this now little give this uh, more uh, because the width is more here now pad x pad x equal to uh, let's say 30 we are not flushing it with the left edge so pad y from the top we are giving 20 so some gap from the left and top we are maintaining now this is that's place our tree view now what next next is let's just give how many records by default it should display otherwise if more records are there then it will scroll also so for that let's say trv height right by default it is note that is equal to 10 i am setting it at 5 uh, you can change it also trv what type it will show it will show the uh, as a uh, child parent or ex with expandable one now we are saying show the headings equal to headings now next now now the column identifiers now trv now we are saying columns actually this dynamically we are creating the column because we are taking the header files from there from the data and creating because that way even if our excel file changes with different number of columns different data it will dynamically take it that's why we are creating otherwise you would have written simple id name class mark whatever the headers are there you could have written that so because and this also we have discussed it before also another thing now this equal to equal to l1 zero the first element because it's a tuple so that's why we are it is iterable so it will take the values so column we are setting it take the values from the uh, wire at the top we have already taken it from here this one l1 so this l1 takes the this value first row so it's our header value so columns are ready now let's uh, add the column for i in l1 zero now here trv dot column this value equal to i for i am taking i width width equal to let's give 100 now anchor which side it should align anchor equal to i am giving c if you want left then give the w or the west or east whatever you want to uh, uh, define it column is equal to i width there is nothing wrong okay let me just for okay sorry here i have to i in okay now column i have defined now now let me give the headings now for giving the headings i have to come out for i in l1 0 again sorry again i missed i here for i in because this i will be iterating over let me just move up a bit for i in 
file come to next line trv dot headings heading heading this is equal to i and the text part is equal to i so one by one i am just adding whatever i declare so this will complete my heading part so the, i have defined the columns defined the headings now the important part is where are my my data even i can just save this let's run this and see whether any error is there i'll get a blank uh, window no, bl blank inter window invalid something is wrong here where it is uh, my drive text line 20 for i again two ins i have written okay so let's just run this here it is you can see id name class mark gender all these are picked up from our l1 we have not written manually to our tree view and that's what it is getting displayed now below that we'll add our data to add data, we'll use our R set, our record set. Here we have created at line number seven. This will use loop through and insert it. So for that, we'll say for DT in R set. So now inside that one row, one row, we'll take it and insert it into our tree view. So TRV dot insert. The first is our, what is our parent ID of the rows? There is nothing is that because all our parent ID, there is no child concept here. So we are leaving it blank. Then where the next row will be added or the new row will be added. It will be added at the end. We can make it at the beginning also, but let's add it at the end. So we are saying end means next row will be below that. Next row will be below that. Like that it will continue. Now IID or the unique ID of the particular row that is the value is DT0. 0 why you are telling is the first column is the 0 column is our ID. ID is unique in that case every student has ID so ID 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. So that value I am giving it as a unique ID for that row. Now values, values equal to DT. So entire data will be uh, well, with 5 columns of data will be added to that. Now let's just save this and run once and see what's the output is. See this id name class mark gender now one advantage here is if i'll change this particular uh, uh, means data whatever i am collecting dynamically that will also reflect let's try that let's go up and here we are actually for record here you are creating so for that max row is uh, five max column is five means there are five columns let's remove the last column so we are giving four so the gender column at the right will not be available and number of rows let's increase this to say eight now let's run this and see how this one because automatically this our Okay, let me just close this previous window. Now, once again, it should open. Yeah, you can see here the gender data has not come. ID, name, class. Okay, one problem here is why it has because in the L1, we have not reduced it. So the gender column has come, but data has not come. For that purpose, this is also we have to make it four because that independently that list was taken. So let's run this again. We'll see. Yeah, okay. You can see the gender column is removed. We have removed it by making this as five to four so the this header is removed and data is also removed now there are few more records have come i can what i can do i can scroll down scroll down and see this uh, again i can move up also so i can go to the different different rows in that way you can increase it up to 35 or whatever number of rows you want you can increase this because we have used the dynamic concept so this i this top headers are also collected dynamically and added to our tree view that's all friends so uh, I'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any doubts suggestions questions use the comment section below to post it accordingly we'll work on it and please share this with your friends and thank you for watching